Hey everybody, Steve, and thank you very much for tuning in. I uh, wanted to bring a concept to the, to, uh, to the surface, and it's something that I've been thinking about a lot in the past few days, and that's this, what is perceived to be fight for the light. And when there is no need to fight, because it's not going to get you anywhere, and as a light worker, your role is not to fight, your role is to uh, love. And if this planet was built on love and created for love, then why is there light workers fighting? Why is there a belief system that one must fight for the light? I understand that, and what I believe it is, is that when someone enters this new spiritual role, starts getting onto the path of ascension, that you get introduced to these things such as draconians, such as all these things, and how manipulative they are, and you start falling into this dark agenda crap. And you start thinking that there is a fight because you're fighting against these lower entities. But after years and years and years and years of learning, you realize that there is no fight because these beings are training you, they're coaching you. Because over the years of my journey, I've been taking notes, per se, and listening to what is said. And that's what's very interesting, listening to what is said. You know, in one healing session with a friend, uh, someone came in and we turned the lights off. And it was a lower level entity that we were perceived it to be. And they're saying, if you, this, you get into ego, we're going to get to you. So it's either, is that a threat or is that guidance? Going, if you move into the, if you go back into the human mind, the human identity, then we're going to come for you. But otherwise we're going to leave you alone because you've moved on from these lower level schools, these schools of realizing that it's just a school. It's just, so it led me to understand, think of a different perspective when they're going fight for life, fight for life, fight for life. And that it's, a, it's like a entry level schooling into gaining mastery on this planet. Mastery of life, mastery of creation, whatever you want to call it. Because it's, why would an ascended master per se encourage fighting for the light when another ascended master group is saying, there is no action, there is no fight. And that's what's really interesting. I actually started asking the questions a few days ago and another channel brought the info, brought the answer forward. I'm like, now this is really interesting. This is the way it's how beautiful. When I start asking questions, people bringing the answers through. It's like anytime I ask a question, there's an answer. Every time, it's just manifesting, constantly manifesting, looking at things, looking at things. So what I started to see that because there is no fight and you have this master that's encouraging the fight for light that it's at le different levels of psychology like marketing and advertising with marketing and advertising you need to portray a message and, the, and that's your avatar that's who you want to talk to that's who you want to connect with so here you have one ma one master and i'm going to refer to them as teams as masters in the incarnate because we're all teams we work in teams you know spirit physical in different forms they're all different teams so you have one team that is what i would call university grade and then you have this other team that's like primary school grade it's still masters but the way that they're approaching in the message that they're delivering attracts to a certain crowd because no student on this planet is without a teacher no student so you what I'm seeing and understanding is that this teacher needs it, their focus is on the new people. So by creating the, in this time right now, I'm starting to believe or forming the perspective that rather than falling away and fighting for the light and seeing like a disparity in the ascended master realm because they're all working together for our benefit, for the planet's benefit. I've done this before on another planetary system. I was a director of awareness um, and we were always working together in and out, in and out, in and out. So what I said, so going back to that story, what that perspective of what I've started to see is that new people, new people coming into this path of ascension, into this path of spiritual learning, is being attracted to 
this fight for light because they're associating light workers and everything with fighting because it feels like a battle internally it is a battle in the mental because you're going from duality triality you're trying to you're having to break down systems and systems of the mind are, are resisting and fighting and being defiant and 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 they're like it's like a mental battle and i know i've been experiencing this battle for a long time and it's just getting more and more and more into that state of peace within the mind silencing the mind it can feel like conflict especially when you're in a quantum energetic soul trying to sit and fit in to an electromagnetic system where there's conflicts of energy which is really interesting so and that and they've told me this years ago and i just went well i'm on the planet i got born as a human well, isn't that how it is but no actually it's a little bit different so going so what i'm starting to see is there is an intelligence behind everything and that's what I'm looking at, looking at exploring, looking at questioning. You know, it's like if you're going to fight for the light, they're bringing in the people that align with that belief system. They grab them like a mother hen, bringing their children in, bring them into alignment with one, with each other, with one source, one unification, and planting the seeds for growth. And that's what I'm thinking is going on. Because for those that have been doing these for years doing this kind of work for years have learned that there is no fight that they just need to relax because everything's okay everything is and not to stress not to worry like you can stress about money like i have for years and now i have no i have minimal income i do have work and i'm not worried I know everything's okay because I'm building, I'm creating a foundation. I'm getting up in front of people and teaching about digital presence. People are coming to me for guidance on their business systems and websites, and that's what I enjoy. I've learned all this. Now I'm moving. Now I'm moving to the next curve, but I can teach those that are coming up into that, that are moving into this space that I used to be in. It's quite an interesting thing. So that's what I'm starting to see is going on. You grab these people, and you have a master that works with that language then that master works with that those people bring them all into alignment and looks after them to make sure that they have the that they get the wisdom and the meditation practices to clear out their internal debris to clear out their internal systems and it makes a big impact because although their psych the psyche is saying fight 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 what's really happening is completely different is that they're clearing their own systems they're clearing their own beliefs and that by doing that work you're making an impact on the planet and it's just using a different psycho psychological approach compared to others going well i'm just going to be here and this is what i'm talking about and i'm finding it very very interesting because it's like we can turn around and say oh you know fight for the light blah 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 not good not good not good when in reality everyone is doing something incredible and that's changing the way that they live changing their mindsets changing their beliefs and the world is changing it's quite beautiful to witness um especially when you're saying things intentionally to trigger and you're seeing the growth like rapid growth it's so beautiful so i think i hope that makes sense i didn't want to spend a day or two trying to figure it out and how to write it i just wanted to share it so I'm going to leave it there. It's Stephen North, and I thank you very much for having a be and enjoy have a beautiful day. All right, enjoy. Thank you. Ciao.